and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimerdinger control. Now we have played a few different variations of Heimerdinger decks, but usually with another champion, you know, Heimerdinger with Karma or with Lux most of the time. Uh, I guess you could try could try Heimerdinger with Ezreal as well. I'm not I don't think I've tried those two together. Um, but you know, like you you have Heimerdinger and then you have another. Um, card that can kind of take over like karma or lux this version is going to be just heimerdinger holding it down uh by himself like this is kind of all in on heimerdinger of course heimerdinger is amazing and so like whenever we draw heimerdingers our, our deck's going to look a lot better than whenever we don't that's what i'm kind of worried about a little bit um, but besides that uh you know we're just going to be pnc ionia control uh, we have a couple other creatures, like we got some Shadow Assassins because it just always replaces itself and, you know, can do some blocking. Chump Womp can get us a couple Mushroom Clouds that then we can rummage away um, and uh, and everything. And and I got a Karina Veraza at the top end because our deck is so spell heavy, like we only have the nine total creatures that uh, whenever we play this, hopefully it's going to be a one-sided Wrath quite a bit. But of course, our deck is all reliant on Heimerdinger. So the five mana one three, that's you know not a not a big body at all. But whenever you cast a spell, you create one of these fleeting turrets. A lot of like this is the best one, and you create whatever the mana cost is. You know we cast a three mana spell, then we get a three one elusive. Uh, the fleeting turrets. Fleeting means you just have to cast it the the turn that you. Um, the, the turn that you get it and uh, the turrets like they're basically like tokens you can kind of think of they're they cost zero mana to play um but yeah let's let's give so let's give Heimerdinger a chance uh, i'm not not exactly sure how this is going to go with just Heimerdinger and not having like a karma or a lux or another powerful champion at the top end um We'll see. We may not be, you know, I, I usually like playing 10 matches with each deck. May not play all 10 with this deck, depending on how long the games go. I could see uh, with only having access to Heimerdinger, I could see the games going longer. So we'll just kind of see. All right, we have Heimerdinger. So we're going to definitely keep that as far as the rest of them. Probably just mulligan away these two. I'll mulligan that too. There we go. That's better. I like Mystic Shot. I like Shadow Assassin, Chump Lump. This is better. escapes my watch. Safeguard our homes. Oh, I could have attacked. I had the attack token. I was thinking about like how what I wanted to do, like if I wanted to rummage, which I, I probably don't. But casting Chump Lump like this, like it actually kind of fills up my hand a little too much. As far as Heimerdinger is concerned. What seems to be the problem? Oh, come on. Uh, they they high rolled the Elnux the Elnux
Yeah, we were doing that some of the last our last deck, so I guess I can't guess I can't complain too much. on me. The problem is if I cast a bunch of stuff, I, I do leave Heimerdinger vulnerable. Three, six, nine. Dimensions don't determine themselves. The order rewards its faithful. I will play my part. I think I just so I just want to bounce. Let's be down to having three mana available. Refresh this. Something wrong with this window. Anyway, all right. So, so they just played Darkwater Scourge. So that certainly seems like they want to death mark this. Um, I want to play the Progress Day. But honestly, it's. I have too many cards in hand for that. I need one more mana. All right. Well, that's kind of my bad. I spent I spent too long thinking about how I wanted to take 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 uh out like you know try to figure out what to do against Deathmark. Basically, I took too long. And the answer is I, I don't have a good answer. Just when I needed assistance. 
Sebastian border from here. Escapes my watch. A sturdy construction. Yeah. Sweet. Well, that went better than expected. Kind of weird with my with my Twitch page, the chat. Oh, so I need to play three more champions from Noxus or Piltover and Zon. So we need to play three more Heimerdingers. That shouldn't be too difficult. All right. Okay, there we go. I had to just close out the chat and reopen it now. Back to normal. Okay, good. Hecarim Elise, so all Shadow Isles. This is awesome. So we have turn five, Heimerdinger with double flash of brilliance. Progress day. That's exactly what we want. I know what lurks in the shadow. That is not what we want, though. Hmm. Yeah, that, that was weird. Yeah, I was definitely expecting the death mark. That was a little weird. You dare. And then we're going to beam Elise. <clears throat> Hope they don't have another lease. Alright, so now this turn I'm not playing anything. Which is kind of a bummer, but... I can't play anything because I need to save up the mana so I can play Heimerdinger and then have the Flash of Brilliances in the back for backup. Um, you know, I could play Chump Wump, but then... But then I'm... I guess I do have a backup Heimerdinger, so I guess I could play Chump Lump and still play Heimerdinger. If they kill it, then I have the other one. Alright, maybe I do need to play Chump Lump. That's a lot of damage if I just don't play anything. Yeah, Alexis Bros, yeah, we're we're doing great today. Excuse you! I don't know. If I wouldn't have played something, though, I would have got all these three ones. Imminently logical. I don't know. I don't know if I was supposed to play something there or not. Please don't have Hecarim. Progress waits for no one. Come on. All right. Well, I have to will of Ionia this. So the problem. Okay. So if I if I flash of brilliance, I gain a card. 
And so then I'm at max cards. So I go Flash of Brilliance, and then I could Will of Ionia, which does replace itself. Dimensions don't determine themselves. And then I don't get to do the other Flash of Brilliance, but... This is me taking six, going down to five currently. Hey, Blade. Wow. So does that mean that I get priority now? They played a fast spell? No. I wish I got priority so I could play this 3-1. So it makes sense for them to have Rekindler. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I think I think it means that we're gonna have Rekindler coming here. So what am I supposed to do about a Rekindler? gets a card out of my hand. Oh. Take a damage. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> <clears throat> One ones can jump the Hecarim ephemerals. No, you can't. Yeah, Re Rekindler just happens. It's not like a skill that goes onto the stack here to deny, unfortunately. I wish we could. And I have, besides Progress Day, I have seven other cards in hand. So if I cast a Progress Day, I draw three, which is the maximum. You know, we go up to ten, but then Heimerdinger gives us a turret. That would be the eleventh card, and I can't have eleven cards. Come closer. I don't bite. All right, so that gets another card out of hand. All right, Blade, have a good night. So stopping this keeps them from, not only keeps them from drawing two, but then also lets me get the turret, which is what I want. Yep. 
was expecting that. I have the backup Heimerdinger, though. Down to nine. I got nine power here. That is a card to deny. And that's game. Two and oh. <laughs> Denied. Got another one. Got another one. So those are pretty quick games. Take like 10 minute games. Both times we had Heimerdinger in our opener. So we were pretty fortunate. It's definitely the most important card. See, the thing is, like, these are, you know, not bad spells. Especially Flash of Brilliance is really good. But we need Heimerdinger. So I think we just mulligan completely looking for it. I, I kind of want to keep this Flash of Brilliance, though. Because the upside on that card is so high. I'm gonna keep it. No, we didn't find one. Yeah, Flash of Brilliance plus uh, Hammerdinger is definitely where the power is in our deck. That's a good card. Pledge yourself to the shadows. The order rewards its faithful. They follow the wrong master. You cannot escape. They could easily have their own twin disciples or disciplines. I think that's better than them having uh, twin disciplines. Show me mask, we did it. Stop the die. Drew the dinger. Yeah, I like the 40 turn limit also, yeah. Um... We actually had the, that problem before. Uh, we did get a a tie in a Karma Mirror where, where neither of us could win. I will play my part. Excuse you. I 
Pecker, I'm still really good. Oh, that Hecarim had a ephemeral. Okay. Well, that makes my life better. I didn't even really realize that. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, they played it on turn five. I probably should have realized that. Yeah, the tie game and expedition where both nexuses went zero at the same time. Yeah, so it didn't count as a win or a defeat. Did you did you get to do another trade afterwards? This is one question. Second question, um, how did they both go to zero at the same time? Nothing going on. It's smaller than the diagram. Just when I needed assistance. Find just one point two one gigahexes. Take your medicine. I think that means we get a turn, right? We get to play this 4 1. Just pass, no, no attack. I had my little one ones do their chumpin, and then I would have been able to stun the Hecarim. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Still have four mana. So of course this most likely means the Hecarim's coming back. With Rekindler or Hecarim. Not using my last deny. You never know, they may have. Um, may have a harrowing. No surprise there.
This is just an A2. I probably should have actually protected the floor be gone. Which I still could. Uh I can't protect it. Never mind. As far as I can tell, none of these things have trample. tapped out. Yeah, maybe I should cast. I yeah, I kind of forgot about the sun seeds. Maybe I should cast that. Well, I'll go to combat first, and if this doesn't work, I have four damage of burn in, in hand. All right, Heimerdinger, three and O. Oh. Yeah, I got, got that one, got that one. I got Spooky Karma. Keep the deny against Spooky Karma, even though we don't need the deny forever. It's gonna be a long time till we actually play that card. But usually Spooky Karmas have like harrowings and stuff like that. Could be convinced to rummage away the thermogenic beams. The order rewards its faithful. Like a beam. I was really debating about just casting Will of Ionia on my own 2-2 to bounce it and then replay it and draw a card. So that would have been just spending 7 mana to draw a card from the Will of Ionia. That's good for me. You know, they only have maximum 3 denies. <clears throat> It was a flashy seven mana card, but all it did was just, you know, kill their two two. 
Like, three damage to them is not that big of a deal. Yeah, you, if your deck's empty, you lose. Like, if you, just like Magic, if you have to draw a card and there's no card in your deck, then you lose. My path is clear. Unlike Magic, though, there is a, a maximum hand size. And if you draw... I will learn from you. If you have 10 cards and you would draw a card, it just gets burned and basically gets exiled instead. What do they have over there? A bunch of ruinations. No suffering. We may end it. Two denies down. I don't think I want to deny back. I guess this thing could turn into a 6-6. Six -six. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it seems like that's something they could have taught in the tutorial. That you lose if you draw too many cards. If your hide. library's gone. Where's Heimerdinger? Saving our denies for. So they just have um, so they just have the one deny left. Got a good amount of puff caps over there. If we can hit him for 10, 
right now. This could be real big. <clears throat> Especially these burn spells, the puff caps. I'm going to save the deny still, <clears throat> and I'm just going to bounce my 4-4. Four four. Get some more mushroom clouds. But now, should I rummage away the mushroom clouds, or just give them 10 mushrooms, 10, 10 more puff caps? I should probably rummage them away. Even though that's hard for me to do, it's really enticing for me to play the the just cast them and give them the puff caps. Return to us. Ah, the sweet smell of science. <laughs> Looks like we found our champion before they found theirs. Deal three damage to each creature that was summoned this round. Nah. Going straight to attacks. Hope they don't have uh, what's it, like Whale of the Undying, like that card. Like that's what we're gonna be using our last deny on. We'll deal one damage to everything, gain three life. All right. Four and oh. Having a real good day today. Ooh, we get a reward. Epic capsule. Epic capsule time. What do we get? All right, a whole bunch of extra copies of stuff, but then a battering ram. Battering rams are cool. All right, but it was a, it was one common and then three rares is what it was supposed to be, but I guess there's extra copies for me. All right, Heimerdinger control. So maybe you don't need, maybe you don't need, um, maybe you don't need another champion. Maybe Heimerdinger just by itself is the way to go. You don't get like the other champion kind of stuck in your hand kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just mono, mono Heimerdinger. I feel like shards are so hard to earn. You know, once you start leveling up, like your reward programs, it does, you know, like it gets more difficult, but, um, get rid of deny. But with that being said, you know, every week, you know, if you get the, reporting in. the chest, you know, you can get like 2000 shards a week. And everything like that. Uh, a little of both, say moi. A little of both. This 
this deck I would say just has you know inspiration from other you know like Heimerdinger decks and everything. Um, I guess I can just pass. Uh, but some of them I just build myself, like the Demacia mid range. I just build myself. And the quick aggro, I just build myself. So kind of a combination. This is going to be a difficult turn for me right here. Because next turn, of course, I, I want to play Heimerdinger, Flash of Brilliance next turn. But to do that, I need to bank two mana. So I can only spend two mana. And as you can see, I don't have any good plays for just two mana. So I think I'll just go with the Chump Lump. And rules are made to be broken. Uh, basically need to wait a little bit for Heimerdinger. Alright, so get excited can shoot down Jinx. Huh. That refuge is pretty good too. Play refuge, I don't play anything else. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Making it easy. I, I want to cast the Spirit's Refuge and then have one mana left and have one mana Thermogenic Beam kill the Teemo. I guess if they if they just don't... But the thing is, they may not attack if I do that. But I guess if they just don't attack, I, I guess that's that's a win for me if they just don't attack, right? Sounds like a win. Don't mind me. Smile. It's called gunplay. All right, they still attacked. I hope this works. Bones. Fish bones. What next turn I have seven mana? Hoping they can't. I'm really hoping they can't just instant speed, level up the Jinx, because my plan is to get excited, kill the Jinx. Yeah, they can't get rid of all that stuff, right? Seems unlikely, at the very least, that they get rid of all that stuff. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Not 
this is risky, but I have to do it because they can just. If I don't block that, they would just give me. Uh, they would just, you know, give me all these mushroom clouds. All right, we're gonna have a bunch of mushroom clouds. So that means I probably cannot cast Progress Day. Down to four. Aggressive. I'm down to 11. This is so close. So close. do this. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything I can do either. I guess if I wouldn't have played that 5-2. I mean, Does the T Hex have overwhelm? Ah. No, T Hex does not have overwhelm. The six drop has overwhelm. Their last three draws were all really good. You know, Mystic Shot, the Legion Grenadier, and the Used Cask Salesman. Because, you know, I, I was planning on bouncing this, but this, I can't stop that. Dang.
So close. But yeah, like that, that turn that I... Um, yeah, I bolted the 1-4... Yeah, I guess I need to bolt. I need to bolt the four four. It would have saved me one damage that turn. Yeah, so I could have. I could have been at one higher life total if I would have just done that. The two wouldn't have really saved me either, though. Hmm. All right, Walker. Have a good night. Well, hopefully my opponent doesn't kill me before turn five. I'm not really doing anything until then. Alright, well, they're probably not killing me next turn. Hecarim Zed Thresh. That's not a good one. That's a good one. Still have three mana. I don't know if I protect it. So they may kill Heimerdinger now. Seventeen. Star so we can understand why why they weren't weren't doing anything for a while. Wow, still had nothing to do that turn. Want to make sure to you know keep my three mana for the twin disciplines. Okay. Kindly keep your hands off my work. I can live with that. This opens up uh, Black Spear. I was gonna say it opens up Black Spear. Master. That one hurts a little bit more because now we don't get this other flyer and don't get to transform Heimerdinger. Uh, 
But we got eight in the air. Sure is dark, eh? Down to four. Maybe. I've been impressed by this oblivious Islander. Islander. Oh, that thing's ephemeral. It's too late for you. I mean, going down to eight. Five. We see them have deny, but yeah, like we should have that pretty easily. All right, five and one now. just a little bit too far down dog I wish you were just a little bit higher my chair was a little lower Can you chair lower no chairs as low as it goes yeah almost master's rank not quite yet but almost Zed Lucian. 
It's not really a bad hand. I'm gonna keep keep Chump Lump and the Thermogenic Beam. There's a Heimerdinger. Basically, I, you know, if I knew where we'd be drawing into a Heimerdinger, I'd want to keep that uh, um, Flash of Brilliance, but it's just not guaranteed that we would have it. Feel the sizzle. Do not fear the shrouded path. I don't know. I probably should have just done this last turn. Would have had one more mana this turn now, if I would have. Pledge yourself to the shadows. So I could have had a mana. Real possibility that they have the dead, deader. that they have removal for Heimerdinger. If I just play Heimerdinger, that they have um, two mana. You know, like the creatures fight. Answers. I have them. I hope not. Basically decided it's going to be really hard to play around that card anyway. Where is Harvey? I'm right here. How'd you beat me here? A lady has her secrets. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 that was the Heimer Deers one. Oh, I discarded the wrong one. I needed to discard that progress day. <laughs> I know, right? I'm still making, still making misplays, and we're almost Masters rank. Great. Miss a chance to run. We go. That was a killer. I get seven mana at least. Okay, I get seven mana. So we're gonna bounce. Senna. They're still gonna have this Zed. Oh. 
bounce Senna, and then bolt the Lucian. My plan didn't really work. What I need to do, how I need to do that is I need to play get excited, targeting the Lucian, and then and keep priority, and then do bounce Senna, and then let let the stack happen no like where the bounces and then get excited strength and grace beauty in the play i still need to kill lucian though right i mean this turns into a 5-3 double attack God, maybe not maybe i have to kill zed So this is turn seven, next turn, turn eight. Then after that, turn nine. good uh, I just need to survive this attack oh, come on that's not good they need to survive this attack and then have Karina Veraza take everything out that's good Three, two. Dimensions don't determine themselves. One. Corona Virusa. Oh, no. Yeah. You're probably right, Lucian. I'm probably going to pay for this. At least none of these things have overwhelm right now, and there's just four attackers. I have four blockers, so. Oh, they're fierce. Okay, wait. Okay, we can block like that. Okay. Added to the bug list. Yeah, it all depends on how we do with this Karina Veraza.
Come on, spells. Come on, spells. We've already seen, like, five of our nine creatures. There's only, like, four creatures left in the deck. Maybe less. I think there's... Two Shadow Assassins. One Heimerdinger. There's only one Heimerdinger. And then one... The other thing. Five spells! Boom. GG's. Corina Veraza. Or however you say her name. That card's awesome. Dang, now we're at 205. So we're in Masters rank now. There wasn't like any kind of like big, like congratulations, you're in Masters rank or anything. Didn't seem like it, at least. All right, so I guess, so now we have a number. So I guess we're in Master's rank. Heimerdinger control. <laughs> oh, I skipped it. I clicked, I clicked too fast. Gotcha. We master now. Thanks, Seymour. After Wizard, Yud. That's right, BJJ. We are Masters now. Yeah, Harvey Lee mastered Legends of Runeterra. But now once you master, you can't find any matches. So basically, I want to find, I want to find Heimerdinger, but Mystic Shot, Chump Lump, these aren't like the, like, this isn't like the worst hand. I'm going to keep the Mystic Shot. Make sure that we have some early removal just in case. Thanks for, yeah, definitely real high win percentage today. We've had a, a good day today for sure. Oh, I guess they are Elise. Okay, so they are a spider deck. I wouldn't mind rummaging away a rummage, but I don't know what else to... I, I guess I could I could rummage away a, the Twin Disciplines. <laughs> All the world on one arrow. I think I want to keep Karina. Karina's pretty cool. Howard Dinger, I just got rid of your protection. I just got rid of the Twin Disciplines. Not bad. What seems to be the problem? Ouch. Deathmark? Man, I've gotten rid of all of my rummaging. Today. <laughs> I 
I feel like if I thermogenic beam this thing to get another 3 1, that then they would have, you know, like Black Spear or something, like then they would kill the Heimerdinger. Uh, they're just gonna kill the Heimerdinger anyway. But yeah, they have the Black Spear. Um, I don't think the flavor of the week is Ash Spiders. I mean, maybe it is, but I I don't think I've played against very much Ash Spiders. It was right on my tail! Aw, uh, thanks, Ov Ovidian. You Thank you. Me. Death Mark's just a dead card. I don't know. Do I deny this? Doesn't seem like the most impactful card to deny. I may regret that. So two ashes are gone. I was not expecting that. Definitely should have saved deny. Okay. Well, that's my fault for casting the deny when I did. My fault casting the deny when I did. I'm not sure why this, why like the fearsome symbol on the right is a lot shinier than the fearsome symbol on the left. Yeah, the frostbite spells are, are like burst, so you can't really, can't really counter them. I hypothesize their demise. You just gotta believe me. Too late for you. Continue without me. <laughs> Wonder if I pass if they play something else. Probably play something else, right? Like a flower, Zahn will bloom. Behold, my masterwork. 
five damage. They have a second harrowing. I'm in a lot of trouble. Come on. The order rewards its faithful. I don't I don't have another good excited for me to draw into. My aim is true. Right. I was thinking that that was only going to get two more, but I guess it gets four more, so that levels up, so. And I played this game bad. If I just did not deny that, that other card, I think that's a win. Really shouldn't use the deny then. All right, six and two. Yeah, definitely unexpected. I, I really wasn't expecting back-to-back -back harrowings. Not expecting that at all. So just giving them these, these, uh, you know, I want to give them all these puff caps to, you know, have them have a better chance of drawing the puff caps. So yeah, I'd like them to draw all 10 puff caps. At least I kill the Heimerdinger and just get a 2-1. Yeah, keep getting those puff caps. So they don't have... They don't have Deny. So I have, what, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 burn in hand. 15 burn in hand. I guess the True Shot Barrage is even more burn.
basically I didn't really want to discard, you know, I didn't want to discard another burn spell with the barrage and denies a good one to have access to. So I was, I was basically I was casting that one get excited, but I wasn't gonna cast another get excited. I was gonna keep the four mana for deny. Energy system, your archaeological instrument, indescribable. Uh, huh? Watch and learn. That light triggers. Ah, uh, I don't get to block with that thing. Excuse you. I So not giving them a Firing. creature. So they, I don't have a creature anymore. Oh, if I discard that, then I will. Let's just cast this first. Alright, so we untap. We're gonna discard the jury rig last. We wanna you know do the other one first. Alright, they can trade their own thing. There we go. Just burned him down from 15. Two, six, two. All right, so we were at what? Like 200 and then lost and went to 300 and then won and went to 260. So you go down a whole lot more when you lose than you go up when you win. Thanks, Avidian. And we got one more. Ash Fiora. Also, that, that hand really wasn't that bad. You know, bounce spells, removal spells. I guess Ash is just getting more and more popular. The Freljord cards are, are definitely good. Four four. They cannot hide. Mm. 
That was unlucky. That's where I could use a Will of Ionia. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Vivian. I'm sorry about the, the auto purge there, but. Thank you. Your move. That's not bad for me. You'll get a riposte out of their hand. For the honor of God. There you are, Will. William. William of Ionia. Still have to deal with the 5 4. 5 4 is pretty big. Feel explain how swingy it is. Yeah, it does seem like you it was right on my tail. lose a lot and don't gain very much. Close read to that. Not very close. They get two more attacks. Unfortunately. I have to do this first. Because they have protection spell. They're not going to use that protection spell yet. If I do that last, then they would have used the protection spell to save the thing. Spells. Spells. 
Behold my masterwork. All right, we'll take the four. Thank you. We'll take that, Harvey. Up there in the mountains. I will not suffer fools. Bar the doors. Okay. Get rid of that thing too. They still have a lot of cards. You know, they have more cards than I do. I know, Harvey just wants to be better. That's all she wants. She never gets tired. And it's like whenever I stop, like if I just stop for a little bit, then she like freaks out. She's like, what are you doing? Why aren't you bed me? Ah, oh, I can't see. They can't see, Harvey. You're too close to the too close to the desk. Another babbling Bjerg? Do they even draw a card? Do they even have cards left to draw? They owe me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Yeah, I think so. I think it's better to uh, get do the three weekly expeditions than using the currency for champion wild cards. I think the ex the expeditions also just you know help you improve, um, as well, and and yeah, that's what I'd recommend. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Out of five. If I cast Static Shock, I don't get to cast anything else. Man. I have to just double chump. I don't think I have any outs. No, I don't. Need one more mana. You know, to use the twin disciplines. Good game. So a couple of our lo losses were to some Ash decks. Yeah, see, like, you lose, like, 100, and you gain, like, 30. Hey, stop. <laughs> Going crazy over here. All right, so there we go. There's Heimerdinger Control. Um, got us to Masters. We are now in Masters rank. Uh, so that's awesome. Um, I think it, the deck worked out really well. You know, like it, it was obviously better whenever we did have Heimerdinger than like the last game when we didn't. But still, I think the deck worked really well. It didn't really seem like we needed the other champion. So maybe just having... Um, <laughs> master dinger master control um <laughs> it seemed like like maybe so maybe having the other champion like a lux and a karma and stuff maybe that just kind of clogs up your hand maybe it does i don't know um the chump wumps were awesome the this karina veraza was really good really liked having one of these that card was awesome. Static Shock was pretty meh. Pretty meh. But, um, but yeah, worked out, worked out great. All right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do, hit that like button over there and please leave those comments. Um, hope you do both of those. Um, 
but uh, there we go. That's all. That's all I got. So thank you so much for watching some Heimerdinger control, and I'll see you for the next video.